Okay, so um, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, what's next uh, in terms of uh, your interest and contributions uh, and things like that. So uh, first of all, I want to thank you again for being here uh, uh, this week. And I, I think your contributions uh, in terms of your brain power, thinking about what we're planning, uh, insight into your research and your processes um, and the conversations we've had with all of you have been very valuable. So uh, we will continue to talk with you and follow up um, through some of the methods I'll talk, talk about now um, and just uh, typical, you know, we'll come find you and ask you uh, questions. So uh, the first thing I wanted to mention is, again, uh, right after this, uh, later this week, I'm going to be sending out an, an email to all of you with uh, sort of the, uh, the end of workshop survey. And this will be a little detailed, uh, right? So I'm going to ask, ask for uh, that information, like on that notes sheet that uh, you have in your packet for uh, data collections information, uh, software tools that you're using that you would like to use, these kinds of things. Uh, so we would really, really appreciate you uh, filling out um, uh, the survey. Um, and I guess I will mention again that you know we're we're funded to support the three uh, use cases that we heard from yesterday. But uh, we want to make sure that what we're doing is um, as broadly usable as possible. And so we we want to incorporate as much uh, that can be useful to you as well. So we really are uh, going to try hard uh, on that, uh, that front. So we need to know uh, what's a priority and those sorts of things. Um, Communication-wise, you know, we do sort of the typical stuff, the Brown Dog website. We have a Twitter account um, that's sort of more public, you know, public information going out. Um, but then we'll also um, start here a, uh, um, a community mailing list. So essentially, we'll be you all. Um, maybe in the survey, I'll give you a chance to opt out of that email list if you want to. But uh, essentially, this will be, you know, we're, we're considering you, uh, you all uh, sort of closer friends than the general public. And so we might send out some, uh, some uh, uh, you know, demos, kind of like the, the cool demos you saw yesterday that aren't really ready for prime time, but uh, that you, you all might find interesting. Um, some requests for sort of friendly uh, feedback or testing or these kinds of things um, and other kinds of conversation that might happen on that on that email list. So I don't imagine uh, a lot of traffic, but it won't be totally dead either. So hopefully it'll be a nice mix of interesting things that we've we've seen that people I think are are interested in. Obviously, future collaborations. You know, we want to invite you all to be thinking about your data, and you know, you've seen some of the parts that the ISDA group has and, and the Brown Dog team has. So we're always interested in, in other things as well. Uh, and also, as you're thinking about proposals and how uh, what you know of Brown Dog can contribute to you know, future work that you're thinking about, uh, please talk to us um, about what you're thinking, how we could be uh, useful. And we, uh, we're always looking for um, important places to put our software and our efforts. So I wanted to. Uh, yes, this is the slide that um, was is on this deck in my laptop, but not on this one. Um, another thing I wanted to mention was we are planning a second workshop. So the second workshop um, will be essentially two years from now, um, and um, it'll be by the time we have pretty much working software. So it'll be right before our beta release of uh, the working Brown Dog system. Um, we're planning to have, you know, uh, talks on sort of progress to date, show, show the software, have hands-on tutorials, things like that. Also, we want to have some, uh, some talks from uh, the funded use cases on their research and research that has happened successfully uh, using Brown Dog services. So that's sort of the plan uh, for uh, the workshop, too. So we'll uh, make sure to get that information out. Um, but you can be sort of looking forward to that. That's you know a little bit of time from now, but um, uh, that's the plan for workshop two. And then the rest of this, I just want to um, actually a lot of this is summary from some of the other talks that you saw yesterday. Uh, I know Luigi sort of blew by some of the how to you know how to contribute, how to learn how to create your own scripts and tools and things like that. Um, and so I've I've tried to summarize a little bit of that in this slide deck. So. Uh, you can download this from the um, from the agenda and just take a quick look and 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 find some of the links to some of these places. So, 
uh, a lot of the, you know, the, the source code and the, uh, the wikis uh, are available um, to anyone publicly on our open source website, open source uh, wiki. So uh, the links are here. Um, there are uh, some tutorial pages in terms of how to add tools, how to develop towards uh, adding tools to the DAP and the DTS. Uh, there's examples of how to uh, do that in different uh, programming languages and things like that. So this is all online and the links are um, here at the top of each of these pages. Uh, we also have a number of tutorial videos. So these are things, um, uh, you know, we had hour and a half, two hour sessions of how do you develop toward using Medici uh, versus uh, polyglot software servers, these sorts of things. And so all those tutorials are on our website and the link is there as well. Uh, I also wanted to talk a little bit about uh, a tool catalog. So this came up yesterday questioning about you know, different versions of software that might be incorporated into Brown Dog. And so we've developed um, a, a tool catalog that's not um, public yet, but, but it's uh, pretty well along. Uh, and this is where we'll house tools, scripts, extractors, these, uh, all these different kinds of tools. Um, and uh, it'll, you know, it's similar to a, uh, like the App Store or Google Play, uh, that kind of stuff. And it has versioning. Um, and some uh, approval process, that sort of a thing. Um, some of the features that are there, uh, you know, filtering by tool type and um, um, these kinds of things. There's a whole uh, version uh, sort of status workflow uh, that clearly you cannot see, but as authors build tools and submit them and uh, those kinds of things. And then I'll just show a quick uh, couple of screenshots from uh, the, the tool catalog. Uh, you know, you can list the tools and um, uh, download source code and things like that. So um, again, this is um, toward the beginning of uh, Brown Dog as a project. And so um, uh, we'll continue to uh, work the integration between this and how we're uh, doing the, um, the VMs for developers and for um, uh, sort of the system integration of uh, tools being built and being integrated into Brown Dog. But I wanted to at least uh, give you a good, uh, or show you uh, some of what we're thinking about in terms of those things. So that's all I uh, had to show specifically. But again, uh, some of those links, I think, are, are, could be very useful as you begin to think about uh, the tools that you have. Um, you, some of you might want to go back and point some of your developers back home to some of these uh, tutorials and pages and things so that uh, they can begin thinking about uh, 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 brown dog tools and how to talk with us about how to incorporate um, all of your, your things as well. So I uh, just wanted to give you some idea of what we're thinking about in terms of uh, that kind of thing. Any questions about that? <laughs>